All right, now let's talk about how to uh, kind of play around with MyFitnessPal to figure out what to eat um, and how much. So you should have already gone in and changed your macros based on uh, the goal that I sent you. Uh, so that's that's what you should be showing at the top of your screen. So in this case here, so if we're on the home screen, I'm going to diary and I'm going to scroll over one day. You'll be on wherever it says today. I'm scrolling over one because I've already logged for today and I want you to see this from a blank slate. So as you can see at the top, I have my goal. I have my remaining. And so this is where I'm going to start to formulate my plan of what I'm going to eat uh, based on my macros. So my macros currently are 365, uh, so excuse me, 3645. My goal is 229 grams of protein. My goal of carbohydrates is 455 grams. And then we see fat, fiber, we see sugar, but the only other one I'm specifically gonna uh, keep an eye on is my fat goal, which is 101 grams. So the goal is to get as close to these numbers as you can. It's gonna be really difficult to hit them exactly, and you can with some messing around, and that, that's what I've done, but don't be surprised if your macros come out very, very close, like your protein, your carbohydrates, and your fat come out very, very close to the numbers that are you know on there as your goals, but the calories don't quite match. That's okay, but what you wanna have is the calories as close to the goal as you can get, and the macros as close to the goal goal as you can get. It doesn't have to be perfect. So let's go through, uh, just because I've done this, so I have some ideas of what puts me at those numbers. Um, we'll go through some other things that'll kind of help uh, speed up this process as well. So let's go to lunch because those are a little bit easier. So if I look, um, if I look through the search tool here, I know that for my lunch, I'm using um, specifically... Uh, these Franklin Farm the kind of veggie burger things as my as my main source of protein. So I'm here. There are uh, just ignore that. There are four of those in a package. So uh, and I eat one full package at each meal. So I check that off. Um, I also have sweet potato in mine. I know that my sweet potato because I've calculated it out is a hundred and. 82 grams if I remember correctly. Um, the other thing you'll want to do is because we're going to be doing a lot of this stuff by grams, you're going to want to change. Here's the serving size. So you can see there's ounces, there's pounds. Um, you're going to want to find one that has grams available and use the grams and then put in the exact amount. So sweet potato, uh, I usually I use rice, brown rice. one's always difficult for me to find. So again, you have to find one that gives you the option of using um, grams. I believe this is the one. Yep, there we go. One gram. It's 140 grams for me in that one meal. Nope, nope. I add... Uh, some salad dressing to it, kind of as a, a sauce, so uh, Lighthouse Blue Cheese, that's what I tend to use. Um, let's see, what else am I missing? Oh, my Brussels sprouts. Again, you got to find one that allows you to do grams, so this one right here at the top, 88 is my Brussels sprouts. All right, so I built my meal. Oh, and uh, half an avocado. Boom, I already have this all set up, so that's why it's coming up like that. So this is my meal. Um, and so this is the way that I'm going to work my way through finding out those macros. So I'm gonna real quick go through, I'm gonna quick add, um, and I'll show you how to do this meal function as well because that'll be really helpful in order to uh, kind of quick this, quicken this up so you don't have to watch me do a thousand things. So there's my dinner, my breakfast, my overnight oats. Where are we? There we go. Um, and then my snack, my pre-training meal. I have some, so egg whites, rice, and an apple. Change my apple to two. 
because I have two apples during the day. All right. So as you can see, I'm pretty close to my macros here, 36.45. If I look, if I click where it says food, it brings up this chart with all my macros. So you can see I went a little over on my protein, slightly over on my carbs by two carbs and um, fat, I, I went over by one gram. So I'm pretty darn close to my macros. So this is a pretty good amount for me. Um, so that's the best way to go through and kind of figure out what your uh, amounts need to be is just by um, a little bit of trial and error. My suggestion is start with your protein um, and you got to kind of go from there. You're going to find that there's going to be some adjusting you need to do. Uh, some proteins are higher in fat than others, so it's going to affect that. You know, if you're going fairly lean proteins, things along those lines. So it is going to take some, some time to figure that out. But as soon as you get that figured out the first time, it's real easy to adjust and make substitutions. But um, that's why I'm trying to give this to you guys several days out so you can kind of work with that and figure out exactly what you're going to use. Um, use the other sheet that I sent you, the what to eat, and kind of in concert with this app to figure out what hits those macros. All right.